I'm going to gross in a radical prostatectomy specimen. So oftentimes the hardest part of a prostatectomy specimen is the orientation. You can get the orientation straight, everything else is just basically sectioning, inking and sectioning the whole thing. So these are done robotically by the Da Vinci robot, so they're fairly clean prostates. If you've seen one that's just a radical prostatectomy, open prostatectomy, it's uh, a lot uh, has a lot more soft tissue around it. Here you can see it's fairly clean gland. So the orientation of a prostate. So you see this broad, burnt, scabrous looking area here. This is the bladder neck margin, also the base margin. This is where the bladder was removed from the prostate. You have the vas and seminal vesicles running along the posterior base of the prostate. So you can see here in my right thumb, I have the right seminal vesicle and the right vas deferens. And then here in my left is the left vas deferens and the left seminal vesicle. Okay, and these kind of extend up the posterior base of the prostate. All right, opposite of the base is the apex. That is the urethral margin. Okay. And so what I like to do is I like to put a probe through the prostatic urethra and it helps see, show you this is the flow of the urethra. So we have our right side, left side, apex, base, anterior, and posterior. Okay. Another little hint that they like to use with the robot is along the anterior side they put this stitch on there. This helps pull the prostate up out of the pelvis so they can remove it properly. So with every parenchymal organ, the first thing we'll do to a prostate is, is weigh it. It consists of a 94.6 gram comma 4.1 centimeter in length by 4.8 centimeter in width by 4.7 centimeter anterior to posterior prostatectomy specimen with attached bilateral vas and some little vesicles. Period. So a weight and a measurement, just like every specimen we do. And then I'll remove the stitch now so that I can. Uh, ink it because after I ink it I won't be able to find that stitch. I like to put a probe through the prostatic urethra that helps create that imaginary line so I know I'm going to ink the right side black and the left side blue. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the apical margin off as best I can. You can see there's a lot of BPH in this prostate, which explains why it's uh, it's abnormally large. It's uh, about twice its normal size. But then we cone the apical margin that we've removed. Just try and keep the slices as uniform as you can. You don't want some to be super thick and some to be super thin, so just try and keep them consistent. And then I just pile them into the same cassette. The histotechs know how to embed those on edge. And then I'll take the same thing on the base margin. The base margin is usually larger than the apical margin but we just try and keep it as consistent thickness as we possibly can. You know, we will get a lot of nodules coming up off the base, but, uh, and then we just cone it the same way we cone the apical margin. Try and keep them consistent thickness. And then just pile those into the second cassette. And they get a little crowded. Sometimes I'll use multiple cassettes to do the, the apex and the base margins, but in this case that's that's adequate for the histotex here. Now I will remove the vas and some of vesicles off the prostate and get a trim weight. Baby. 
The prostate has a trim weight of 86.2 grams, period. The prostate is inked black along the right, comma, blue along the left, period, and serially sectioned from apex to base, period. And now we'll just section the prostate from apex to base. Try and keep it consistent thickness. Yeah, this prostate came in later last night and it didn't have adequate fixation on it. So it's a little bit um, fleshy. It's not as well fixed as what we would usually like. We let our prostates fix overnight regardless of what time they come in to help make them a firm, easy dissection um, specimen. So as you get down toward the smaller end, just use your paddle forceps and it helps hold the prostate in place so you don't cut your fingers. And it, uh, the difficult part of these is keeping consistent thickness throughout the entire cut. And that is the entire prostate section. Now my gross descriptions of the cut surface of the prostate typically are a vague, kind of a granular cut surface, and honestly it doesn't really matter what I see grossly. Um, I'm not going to describe the size of lesions, distance, lesions to margins, because I'm going to submit this entire prostate. So everything that is seen here grossly will be seen microscopically. And trust me, the microscopic appearance of prostate cancer is much uh, easier than the gross uh, interpretation. So, section reveals a tan yellow to white kind of granular cut surface with marked areas of nodularity grossly consistent with BPH, period. And now I'm going to take the entire prostate from apex to base and submit the entire gland. And to do so, I'm going to section the prostate slices in a manner that they will fit in the cassettes. Sometimes that's going to be four equal slices, and in these slices I actually could um, go with uh, six slices because the, uh, the, the they are so large and you'll get a feel for what you can fit into a cassette and what you can't and then I'm going to submit these sections sequentially in a repeating pattern. So the pattern is black, blue, blue, black. And it's going to go black, blue, blue, black all the way through the entire gland from apex to base. Now there are many different ways to gross in a prostate. This is the way we do it here. This method does use quite a bit of cassettes, as opposed to the whole mount that's still being used at some places. It doesn't use as many cassettes, but the pieces are bigger.
So. Okay, so that's the entire prostate submitted. Now we have the vastness of the vesicles. So you can see the vastness of the vesicle. This is the left, this is the right. I'm just going to take the next section of the vastness of the vesicles off. And then I'm going to separate the right and left. And uh, we had ink on them, so I know which side is right and left. And submit that as my vastness of the vesicles resection margin. And so the only thing you have left in the container is the ends of your vastness on vesicles. Everything else has been submitted. And that is how you gross a very large prostate.